video log I did, I was on the way to, well, I went to Old Huff um, on the Super Cup knockout, <clears throat> and today I'm on the way to Partridge Lakes for the second round of that. Um, it's on Lakes 2 to 4. Before we get on to today, I'll just give you a brief rundown on the, uh, the fishing over the last couple of weeks, about three weeks, I think. It's been bloody tough, to be honest. Um, I've never known uh, the fishing sort of go like this for, uh, for a while. It's uh, everything sort of warmed up and fish were starting to feed and then we've had a load of cold weather and it's sort of gone backwards back to winter mode but it's not winter mode because the water temperature is still quite warm it's sort of like 12, 13 degrees but yeah it's been a real tough, tough months fishing um, I've been struggling myself to make anything happen to be honest I think uh, after, after the last video log I, I went back to Old Huff on the Saturday uh, on the Fisher Mania and I've drawn on Goose uh, which I didn't fancy um, to win the match and to be honest it was a non-starter for me I couldn't make anything happen uh, I've tipped back 40 or 50 pound with I think 82 pound won the lake at the other end I got well and truly beaten to my right he had 70 pound by the bridge uh, fished a good match um, he, he caught my dobbin and in the edge uh, I couldn't make either of those work um, so yeah on to the next one um, which was when we go after that I think Tunnel Barn Farm, I'm going to say. Um, again, I've drawn Top Pool, uh, which hasn't competed um, in the overall frame for a long time at Tunnel, so it was, I was going for a section win. Um, and unfortunately, I had a split section uh, between my five on the high numbers of Top Pool. I've drawn Peg 29 and Extension. And steady match, um, I've caught on Maggots in the edge but at the bottom of the shelf um, everything on top pull I've always found lives in the edges uh, couldn't, couldn't get him to come up into 3 2 foot uh, so I've caught everything in sort of 4 foot at the bottom of the ledge um, I think because it, it was so clear they probably wanted a bit of water over the heads to feed confidently but I've had 65 pound 40 pound was second in my 5 but I got well and truly beaten for the section on extension everyone who weighed in on there um, caught sort of 20 30 pound more so bit unlucky there. Um, then I went to the Oaks uh, and I drawn a really good peg which I fancied and basically messed it up a bit to be honest. Um, I've, I've done, done this mistake before at Heronbrook this year where you're fishing for what you think is a big weight and attack your peg too much and um, it wasn't to be. It's so confusing on there because like, every time you uh, every time you feed you get a swirl and a reaction where carp come in because so many carp in there they come in into your peg and you get a reaction and you think well they must be eating the bait and it's not getting to the bottom or all these forks come into your head so you're up the feed and you, by the time you've worked it out an hour in you're sort of committed to that aggressive match so you might as well see it through so yeah definitely got that one wrong of course the best line was on maggot short um, and I've had 80 80 pound, I think 82 pound won the section on the MPEG. Uh, so again, I was close, but um, no excuses there. I definitely, definitely pitched it wrong. It should have just been a long pole, tapping a few bits of meat and uh, be patient. I think uh, I would have caught a much better weight. Not, I don't think it would have been good enough to uh, to qualify. I need 130 pound, but I definitely could have caught a ton, I think. Um, so yeah, that was a bit of an error. Shelf and 
yeah, to catch one. So uh, it's very frustrating when you, when you can see the size fish that you need for five or six bites and that'll win the match. But I've had 29 pound, uh, which was second on the lake. Um, 30, 33 pound or 35 pound on the lake, Lee Bennett. So uh, well done to him, but yeah, um, we, we was well out of contention uh, at Lakeview, unfortunately. Um, yeah, that's just how it goes. Uh, then next match was Western Pools. Uh, I've drawn Bell for Deer 24. Um, anybody knows that. It's one off the pads. 25's the peg that's qualified a few times. He's got some lily beds. Uh, but Bell had been fishing really, really hard. It had a two day festival on. And I knew, uh, I knew it was going to be a bit of a struggle. I fancied it for a few, for a few fish because uh, the weather had changed. But it wasn't to be, and yeah, I've ended up with 32, 33 pound, which majority of that was the last 20 minutes. Three or four big carp um, caught short on maggots, uh, which again was uh, well clear of the five pegs that I was in my side. I didn't have a split section. Uh, I think it was 22 pound seconds. So I was well clear on that, but the anglers in the other section uh, on the other lake. Yesterday I was at Heronbrook uh, for Fishermania and I've actually drawn the right lake for once. Um, I've drawn, it's the first time this year I've been on the same lake that's qualified and to be honest um, I've had £80. I don't think I could have caught much more than that but it's been a bit frustrating because the, the angler to my right has had a bit of a chance. He's, had, he's ended up with £103 uh, all on the feeder feed or something that I needed to get some bites on but it never it never even moved to be honest I've had, I've, I've had one stocky about eight ounces but uh, other than that I've not had a liner I've not had a touch not, nothing um, just about you know if I rested it it went back on it wouldn't move and I needed a backup line because I caught on pellets on the deck long um, that died after an hour and a half so I've had a, the middle part of the match an hour and a half but I've not put anything in the net and that's when I needed the rod to work really and you know, I don't, don't know what I would have done to make it work. Um, I've, had, I've had a nice sort of last sort of hour and 40, catching a few on meat short, that's been good. And I've ended up with £77 I think I had, uh, with 112 winning. So uh, it's a bit frustrating when you have like um, a quiet period like that, you think you know an hour and a half fishing that could easily be £20 and all of a sudden you're in the mix. But yeah, well done to the winner, well, well done to the guy to my right. I think he ended up winning the section of framing. And then, uh, yeah, so that brings us on to today at Partridge. So like I said, it's, uh, the fishing's very hard at the minute. I've been like, struggling to make things work, so um, confidence is a bit low. I'm not expecting to do that good today, really. Um, Partridge, I think the fish is starting to have a little bit of a feed, but again, it's very patchy. I think it's going to be a case of this time of year, um, with, like worm starts to work anyway. And I think with the fact that the fish aren't feeding uh, very well, I think it's going to be the perfect sort of go-to bait today. So you can put a bit of cloud with the soil in, with a little tiny bit of high protein food inside. And worms, they tend, it tends to be a bait that you can get bites on uh, when the conditions are like this. So I think I'm just going to fish maggots down the middle and try and catch up and down worms in the edges and across um, and just fish for a fish for a low weight and take it very steady. Um, I don't think there's going to be much else I can do there really. It just seems to be one of them that fish are responding to noise, they're coming into bait, but everything we're putting in is a bit too rich and they're not feeding um, you know, whatever they're picking up it's uh, they're not picking up your hook bait very uh, very often so I think something with high attraction like the soil uh, with a bit of a cloud but no food content and a tiny little nugget of worms uh, it's probably going to be the way today but we'll see let's see how we get on well we've done the draw and i've drawn peg 78 on lake four and michael williams who i'm up against has drawn peg 73. Um, so there was a few fish caught near where i've drawn uh, sort of three pegs to the left of where i've drawn yesterday i think that won the match but the wind sort of changed round and it's off my back today, um, blowing down the other end. So um, 
73 is a very good peg so I think I think I might be up against it um, but never mind we'll, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll obviously try as hard as we can um, and hopefully we'll do enough but yeah I'm not, I'm not fully feeling that one but fingers crossed
Well, that's the match over with, and I'm pleased to say I got through. Yay! Um, I've ended up with £89, and uh, Mike, um, he had £30 or £40, he took back, he, uh, he, he struggled off uh, £73, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, it's been a decent match. Um, I think that's one my section, I'm not sure where that is, if it's anywhere overall, um, £89. Um, looks like the first sort of signs of the uh, fish starting to feed a little bit today, which is nice. So. But yeah, I uh, started down the edge um, to the pallet to my right on worm. Um, I caught quite steady on that for like the first sort of hour. Um, just odd better F1s and mainly stockies and that. Um, and I've also caught on maggots down the middle. That's on the deck, so we're on the bottom. I've, I've, I've tried tried to catch shallow and fed it to catch shallow for a bit, and uh, I had one bite which ended up being a, a carp, four pound, no F1 shallow at all. So uh, just not enough there today to bring them up, I don't think. And then uh, late on, I've caught a few on maggots long to the, uh, the pallet to my left. Um, and yeah, I've took took a section off on my maggot line down the middle just to try and keep them on the deck. Um, felt like just coming a bit closer to me might help because although you don't catch shallow you still struggle with line bites and stuff like that when they're in your keg uh, but they kept drifting off and uh, you'd, you'd catch a load of small rud so, uh, but no I'm really pleased to get through there um, that's uh, been a decent match um, and a good result so unlucky to uh, Michael um, and yeah for me on to the next one